In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll show you how to customise your printing templates. To do this, I'll click Print Settings on the left side of the screen. Now I'll select Printing Templates. Here you can customise the template for all of the different printouts. For this example, we'll be editing the order docket that goes to the kitchen. You can see that this template is linked to the kitchen printer location. Now I'll click the Edit button on the right side of the screen to modify the template. Here you can see all of the code that makes up the printing template. Here you can see an example printout of the current template. Now I'll show you how to make some changes to the template. For this example, I want to delete the customer information from the docket, so I'll highlight the line and then tap Backspace. Now that that line has been removed, I can add something else to replace it. To see what information you can add to your template, just click Placeholder Lists here. Here you can see all of the information that you can add to your template. For my example, I want to have the order number for the order displayed on the docket. You want to copy the square brackets and everything that's inside, and also the last square bracket. Now that I've copied the placeholder, I'll click the X icon here. Now I can paste the placeholder into my template. I'll just add some text to make the order number more visible on the docket. Here you can see that I've added some dashes before and after the order number to make it easier to see. Now that I've finished customizing my template, I'll click Save. Now I'll do a master sync on the POS and print out another order docket and show you the difference from the original. Comparing the two order dockets side by side, you can see that I've removed the customer information and then replaced it with an order number.